Hello guys, Bartek here. This time we'll talk about the Akineo Import and Export section. You'll learn how to create a new import profile, types of imports, about creating a new export and the types of exports. First, I will show you the import section. Here you can see all created import profiles. According to the definition, the import profile simply allows performing imports in Akineo. If you want to create a new import, you have to click Create Import Profile. And now you have to provide a unique code and label to identify the import profile. Next, select a job to define what will your import do while executing. For instance, it's a product import in the XLSX file or a category import in CSV. There are 37 different import jobs. For example, I'll create a product import in the CSV format. Now we can see four tabs – Properties, Permissions, Global Settings and History. Under the Properties tab, we have provided code and labels. Under the Permissions tab, you can assign users who can execute job profiles and edit job profiles. The next tab is the Global Settings tab. Here we can provide a directory of the file to be used for the import. You can also allow field upload, provide a delimiter, enclosure, decimal separator and date format. Enable the product, give names to the categories column, family column and groups column, set compare value to yes and set real-time history update to yes. Under the history tab you can see the whole history of changes. In the end, click the save button. Let's come back to the list of import profiles. From the import profiles list you can delete, edit and run the import by clicking on it. Here are two tabs, import now and upload a file. If you want to run the import, click Import Now or click on the Upload a File button to upload the file by yourself. Next, the page of the import execution will be displayed. When the import ends, you see a notification in the top right corner of the PIM. If you launch the import and fail, you see all the details of why the import failed. Now I will show you the Export section. If you want to create a new export, click Create Export Profile. Now you have to provide a unique code and label to identify the export profile. Now select a job to define what will your export do while executing. Now we can see four tabs – Properties, Permissions, Global Settings and History. Under the Properties tab, you will see information entered during the creation of the export. Under Permissions, you can allow people to execute and edit job profiles. Under the Global Settings, you have to provide a file path delimiter, enclosure and set if the export has a header or not. And under the last tab you see the history of export profile. If you save your changes, you can export your export profile by clicking Export Now. And now you know the Execution Details page. You can also export our export profile later, directly from the list. You can also see the last executions of the detailed export profile and edit or delete an export profile from the list. Now I will show you the example of an export profile for products. In the case of product export, we have one additional tab, which is named Content. Under the Content tab, we can filter data and filter the products which will be exported. Ok, first we have to filter the data. Select the channel and locales and choose what product attributes will be exported by clicking the Edit button. After that, we have to filter the products by selecting families, as well as the product status, completeness, time condition, choosing categories and providing identifiers. Ok, that's it. I hope this helps. Enjoy managing your import-export section. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.